What size copper grounding electrode conductor is required for a 200 amp service with two watt copper service conductors? And remember, the grounding electrode conductor is the wire that goes from, we'll say, the ground rod to the service enclosures. And the correct answer is a number four. Now, anytime we're dealing in the exam prep world with a question about grounding electrode conductors, we have a qualifying question. Does it mention the type of electrode? Meaning, does it say when using a ground rod, when using a oofer ground, or whatever? In this case, the answer is no. And in the absence of knowing the electrode, we're going to default to table 250.66 and use it at face value, which we're going to do in just a moment and walk through the process of answering this question. If the question does mention the type of electrode, as an example, a ground rod or an oofer ground, we're going to first go to section 250.66A, B, or C and see if our type of electro electrode is mentioned in the text. And if it is, that's where we're going to find the answer to our question if it does mention the type of electrode. Now let's go ahead and answer this question. What size copper grounding electrode conductor is required for a service with two-watt copper service conductors? Does it mention the type of electrode? No. So let's go ahead and head to table 250.66. This is where we're going to size all of our grounding electrode conductors. We always will start on the left-hand side and select from the column of the composition of our service conductors themselves. So on this side, it, we have two watt copper service conductors. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go down the copper column until we find two watt wire or whatever range that two watt wire falls in. Then we're gonna cross over to the other side of the table and we're gonna look back at our question and ask what type of metal is the grounding electrode conductor itself? And the answer is copper in this case. It wants us to size a copper grounding electrode conductor. So we're gonna select from the copper column and what we would do is follow from this side over, we'd find two odd on this side, slide over to the copper column, and we're going to find that it's required to be a number four. I am the electrical code coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If you'd like to learn about this very large subject that we break down in a very easy to understanding, understand way, you can head over to electricalcodecoach.com, click on the free version, and go to week 10. That's where we cover this topic here. By the end of it, you'll be a pro at sizing all three different types of grounding conductors, which include grounding electrode conductors, equipment grounding conductors, and bonding jumpers. Let's get to it.